Procrastinating with Isla. Hello everyone, my name is Isla and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a puffy sleeve top like the one I'm wearing. Actually it's the one I'm wearing that I'm going to be showing you how to make. It's very easy to do and uh, you don't, won't need any... any... <laughs> you won't need any pattern, just follow my lead. And onwards! Why is she so cute though? Why is she so cute? <laughs> Let's get to it! I start out with some fabric, preferably not too thick, and I lay it out on the floor. I measure around 30 centimeters, but if you have a bigger bust, add a few. I cut two pieces of the same length. And the front panel I cut down in the front a bit, like this. I fold the corners from half the length down in a 60 degrees angle. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure that both sides are the same. I cut the corners off, slightly curved. I do this to both the front and back panel, using the leftover pieces as templates. Now I'm cutting the puffy sleeves. I fold the fabric in half, and since this fabric is second hand, it had a stain that I'm going to be cutting off anyway for the fitting of the bodice. I measure how long I want the sleeves. I used half of the bodices. Then I fold the fabric again and use them to cut away from the bodice as a template, just changing the angle a bit so I have more fabric to ruffle. I cut the corners off after the template and also cut the piece so that I have two sleeves ready. The pieces should look something like this. I then zigzag or search the shorter edges like this on all four pieces. I pin together the front and back panels and sew along the sides. And don't forget to give your cat attention! Sew the sides with 1cm seam allowance. Fold the sleeves and pin them together. Then I sew along the short side. Press the seam allowance apart and hem the sleeves. I hem them by folding half a centimeter over and then over again, pressing it down with my nail. And also pinning it down, of course. Sew along the fold on both sleeves. I then place a thin bias tape about one and a half centimeters down from the hemmed edge. This will create channels where we will put the elastics in later on. This is done on the wrong side of the fabric. Pin it down around the whole bottom of the sleeves, folding it in the ends so there are no raw edges showing. Sew along both sides of the bias tape, thus creating the channel. On the bottom of the bodice, I just folded the fabric as if I hemmed it, but made it a bit wider. And I left an opening about 1 or 2 cm wide. Now it's time to fit the sleeves onto the bodice. Place the sleeves the right side out in the bodice's sleeve holes when the bodice is the wrong side out, making sure that the right sides of the fabrics are touching. Pin them together and sew along where you have pinned. the 
right side out and hem the top edge the same as you did for the sleeves. doing the exact same thing with the bias tape on top of the bodies and the sleeves. around my arms. I cut the elastics this length and I thread them into the channels that were made with both the bias tape and by making a bigger hem with an opening. I used a safety pin to guide the elastics through the channels. Of course you could make a ruffled hem the same as the top edge of the bodice as well, or make every edge like the bottom edge. It's just a matter of what style you wish to have. And now I'll show you both! When you've threaded the elastics, put a pin on the ends and try on the top for adjustments of the elastics. You will probably have to pull the elastics a bit to make it the perfect fit for you. When you've found it, cut off the excess elastics and sew the two ends together. Do this to all the ends. But I'm going to show you how you can use the scraps from the corners we cut off to make small bows to either put on hair clips or sew on to the top itself. Cut out a long rectangle or two if you're making two and fold it in half. down to leave a mark, then fold the edge down half of a centimeter and make them overlap in the middle. Like this. Pin them down and sew along the sides. Turn the bow the right side out using something pointy, but be careful not to poke through the fabric. Fold in any raw edges you see and hand sew the opening shut. Then you sew up and down stitches along the middle like so and pull the thread securing it to make a bow shape. Smaller rectangle piece, folding in both of the sides and then a third time so that there are no raw edges. Placing it over the middle of the bow and sew it down, then fold it over and sew it in place again. I 
now have a small bowl. I choose to put mine on the sleeves of my top. And we're done! This is how one can style the top with a sleeveless dress over like this. Or just plain weird like this with a thin long sleeve shirt under. Or a bit more revealing, but still super cute! Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that I haven't been putting out much lately uh, because of different reasons, but mostly because of the reasons that I have been making other videos that will be coming soon, I hope. Uh, they're a bit like bigger projects, so that's why it takes a little longer. But I'm gonna try to give you more content, maybe, hopefully soon. <laughs> I'll be working out of town the next, couple, next couple of months, and I thought maybe I could take you with me on my in my work, maybe. I'm gonna be working with an opera company that's in the southern of Sweden and we'll be making Die Fledermaus or The Bat or The Revenge of the Bat. Uh, anyway, I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but it's gonna be a 18th century style thing and it's gonna be great and I thought I'd make you join us follow around thing maybe um, but yeah it also means that my videos will be in another venue <laughs> I will be staying at my mom's and my workroom is gonna look a little bit different but I'll still be posting so don't fret I'm doing the point of thing a lot. I don't know why. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that you will like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Also, look at this baby. Look at this sweet, sweet baby. Such a sweet Baby. <laughs>